It's a little weird being back at a podium, but this is one that I welcome being back at. I, um, I wouldn't be a good Trump spokesperson if I didn't start with a tweet. So let me take you back to December 28th of 2016. And the tweet was this. Stay strong, Israel. January 20th is fast approaching. I want to uh, thank you very much for this, this honor, and it truly is an honor. For over 25 years, I've had the distinct privilege of being a spokesman for different members of Congress, members of the military, the Republican Party, and obviously, most recently, President Trump, in case you missed that. But as a spokesman, it was my job to speak on behalf of other people, their values, their principles, their ideas. It is with a great deal of pride that I stand here tonight speaking on behalf of myself and saying how proud I am to talk about how great it is to be a friend of Israel and to stand up for the values of this organization. I was at the RNC for six years. I oversaw two platforms getting constructed, and I've heard countless candidates talk about the Republican platform, which firmly stands on behalf of Israel. But it was this president that took those words and that talk that so many candidates espouse and made it turned into action. Starting on day one, this president made it very clear that he was going to do more than just talk. He was going to be a real friend who got results. For decades, candidates of both parties have talked about moving the embassy to Jerusalem. This president did it because it's the right thing to do. Thank you, Congressman DeSantis, for standing strong. You know, one of the things that I got to witness was see the president up close, and I remember uh, a day before a boss came to visit the White House for the first time, and one of the groups that Sheldon Adelson so um, generously supports had gotten a letter from the Force family to be brought in to the president. The president read it, digested it, and the next day when a boss came into the White House, the president made it very clear from the get-go that we are going to stop paying, just turning a blind eye to them paying terrorists for killing Jews. It's going to stop. The message has been clear that the rhetoric is over and action is here. And it was an honor to watch the president deliver that message and stand strong with Israel. We also put an end to the UN being a forum for Israeli bashing, and the president appointed a tough-talking, no-nonsense ambassador to the UN in Nikki Haley, and she's getting results. So it has truly been my honor to, uh, to be able to be a spokesperson and espouse these values, because it's not just being able to channel them, it's also being able to agree with them. Uh, while we're talking about friends, I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about not just the U.S. being such a great friend to Israel, but what a great friend Shmuley's been. Now, despite what you may have heard in some of the fake media reports, not every day was great for me in the White House. <laughs> there were a couple, maybe, maybe two, bad days uh, that didn't go so well. But in those moments, a real friend always reached out and said, hey, I got your back, I'm praying for you, I'm thinking of you. And it was Rabbi Shmuley. And I can't tell you enough um, how much that simple act meant to me from him and others who would say, I'm praying for you, I'm thinking of you and your family. It's a great honor to serve this, that, this, the White House, the country, the American people, and this particular president. But there are... Believe it or not, there were a couple lonely times, and there were a couple t difficult moments for me, sometimes self-inflicted, sometimes not. And it was always great to have friends like Shmuley around who would let you know that through those dark moments, he was praying for you and to have faith in the Lord. And so I want to thank this organization, and I want to thank you for your steadfast friendship, and I thank you all for being here in this distinct honor. Thank you.
son Mendy. Ellie? Thank you. May, may I just say as Sean leaves the podium that the Jewish value of gratitude I spoke about, he's in the middle of writing a book and he doesn't have a minute to spare. And the book is called My Hero, Rabbi Shmuley. And <laughs> if you buy enough <laughs> copies, it is. <laughs> and he came tonight because he told me on the phone, he said, you were there for me when I needed you and I'll never forget it. That's true gratitude. Sean, God bless you. We really appreciate it. Thank you for your friendship with Israel and the Jewish people always. And God bless you. Thank you, Sean. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.